Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Road to S-Rank. I am back and I'm here with a kind of a little bit of a special episode, or not really special, but I would say like something a little bit different from the norm. I finally made it back to A plus rank, so yay, I'm finally back uh, one rank one rank away from uh, currently uh, uh, S-Rank at the moment. So I decided to take this opportunity to um, practice with some other weapons and different gear sets. What I've been doing or what I did recently was I decided to do some research and do some, um, I guess, some item or gear research to see what type of uh, abilities and sub-abilities I want to try out. Since I, like I said, I've ha I have a ton of, a uh, ton of gear that has yet to be, um, that has yet to be uh, fully uh, leveled up at the moment. So I decided to uh, try some out and. Here's a little surprise. I'm trying out a Splatling. I decided to um, just try it out for fun because it, it looks like a fun weapon, but unfortunately this this weapon in particular, or this type of weapon, is a little um, at least difficult to get the hang of, at least for me, because I'm not used to weapons that have like a um, a charge time. So it's a it's a very different a very different playstyle that I decided to um, just uh, test out. I don't know if I'm going to stick with a Splatling, but I just thought I would give it a try since I decided to talk to some people from the Splatoon community and someone mentioned, hey, try out a Splatling. I think you would like it. I was like, okay, I'll, I may as well try uh, uh, because a Splatling is a, uh, a uh, weapon type that I really have no experience with. And so far, I like it. I don't know if I'm really that good with Splatlings at the moment. Uh, so far, the, my favorite one is the uh, Splatling Remix at the moment. It comes with Sprinkler and Whaler. Unfortunately, I didn't do uh, very well on this first uh, match. And it, and um, I have to say, I think the Remix is my favorite so far, at least the um, regular Splatlings. I did try out the uh, mini, mini Splatling. And I have yet to try a heavy. I don't know if I want to try a heavy, just because the heavies are very difficult and the um, they're just incredibly slow. And I'm just not a fan of like super duper slow weapons. The um, oh yeah, that was unfortunate uh, kill on my part. Yeah, this weapon uh, has taught me that you need to stay back a bit. Mini splatling, mini splatling, in my opinion, it, I think it's just a little too. It doesn't have enough firepower, or at least it doesn't have enough, uh, it doesn't spray that much, or it doesn't spray that long, so I decided to, uh, I, I don't know if I like the mini that much. Uh, the remix and the regular splatlings, like, kind of like the medium category, is not too fast, not too slow, I, and it, it's, I think in my opinion it, uh, it, um, sprays just enough ink to where I like it, and, uh, so far I'm having fun with it, but unfortunately I'm not. <laughs> I really have to train myself to kind of like stay back because this is not a weapon you can get into the get into people's faces with as you can see it's it has a it has a medium charge time and you have to kind of and I have reviewed or uh, not reviewed but I've watched uh, some gameplay of splatlings and um, I what I tend to notice that people uh, with a splatling stay toward the back they don't really they don't get in the front lines they kind of stay back and kind of support their team from the from the uh, from the back end and uh you know they cover turf and they uh try their best to and this is not a weapon i i at least i feel like is um meant to get kills because i don't really get a lot of kills with it it's kind of hard to it's mostly kind of just meant to stay man i got splatted by a lot of bombs i'm noticing at this point but i decided uh I'm, what I'm trying to do here is that I, I have some runs, speed up, some defense, and ink uh, resistance because I know for a fact that you definitely want some run speed up w when using a splatling since uh, certain ones uh, decrease your run speed a bit. And uh, so I have ink resistance, which is, which is always a good choice. Uh, defense because, um, you know, if, if, I get in, if I get cornered or uh, someone gets close to me, I may have it'll give me maybe a bit of a chance to... Um, to get away, and then I have, of course, run speed up. And I forgot what my sub abilities here are at the moment. I, but um, definitely run speed up, and definitely some. I actually did manage to get a couple kills, kills here, which I'm quite proud of. But it's um, I another thing about this weapon is that I'm feeling like I have some difficulty 
knowing how to move around this with this weapon because this weapon is kind of not the easiest to aim sometimes as so um i'm trying to figure out what is like the best way to to uh move or travel with this weapon because i mostly for uh this map i stayed on the uh floor uh or the um stay on the middle ground i didn't really traverse too high uh, which I maybe I should have done more of. I should have probably stayed or got up higher to higher ground, maybe. But um, I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, I just wanted to try out a splatling because it seemed like a lot of fun, which it is. But I, this is definitely a, if I do, if I want to consider using this weapon, I'm probably gonna have to take some time to practice more in turf war because this weapon is, like I said, it's is it's definitely a different mindset uh, to playing. And uh, I definitely want to- I also tried it out just because I definitely want a weapon with Whaler. Because for some reason I just find the Whaler special to be incredibly fun. Uh, a fun weapon to use. And I actually did manage to get a few kills on it on uh, a few matches. So I decided to just give the uh, Splatling a whirl, as you can say. Haha, <laughs> whirl, because the barrel spins. Ah. Yeah. But yeah, um, I tested out run speed up, I tested out some defense, I also tested out some uh, attack up, uh, damage up. I'm trying to find other abilities that aren't attack up at the or damage up at the moment because I feel like a damage up is just a must-have um, it's a must-have uh, ability to have on every weapon nowadays. So I'm just kind of trying trying to try out different ones at the moment just to see how they work. But Splatling, don't know if I'm going to keep it, but it's definitely a fun weapon, and I'll, I'll try to practice with, with it more in the future. Okay, the next set I have here that I tried out, I believe, is Brush with Tenacity. Yeah, here we go. I'm using the Permanent Ink Brush, and with this set, I tried out Tenacity with Ninja Squid. And Ink Resistance with, uh, I believe, um, uh, Swim Speed Up. So with this one, I decided to take... Uh, a lot of people suggest using Ninja Squid or Ninja Jump with with the, uh, the brush since it can be a very stealthy weapon. So I decided to give it a shot with... But because Ninja, uh, Ninja Squid has a... Gives you a decrease in, in swim speed, I, just, I needed to buff... M I felt like I needed to buff my swim speed a bit. So I have the um, red high kicks with triple swim speed up sub. I have Ninja Squid, which I believe I was actually um, leveling up this gear, so I don't know what my subs are here. And then with Tenacity, same thing. I'm using the Gas Mask, which I believe gives a um, gives a good chance for the special duration up sub ability, which will help my Kraken with the permanent ink brush, uh, since it comes with... Um... Now, unfortunately, for this set, I kind of like I had to sacrifice um, a couple of abilities which are also good for the brush, such as uh, Ink Saver Main and um, Attack and Damage Up. Again, Damage Up is always like the go-to uh, ability, and I just wanted to try something different. Now, Tenacity. The reason why I'm using Tenacity here is because I decided to give a shot because I I watched this one group called um, uh, uh, Squids Next Door, which they're a competitive group, and he and the leader of that group does some uh, videos that gives like tips on uh, abilities, weapons, etc. That that type of stuff. So he suggested, hey, why don't you try Tenacity instead of a uh, special duration up or special duration um, uh, the the sub ability that kind of gives you uh, that refill that fills your uh, special meter up faster. He said it's better because it, or it's a it's a good su or it's a good ability because what tenacity does is that whenever your uh, teammates get killed, the less members you have currently um, currently alive, the faster your gauge will uh, will fill up and you'll be able to use it. So I decided, you know what, that actually sounds like a good ability to have, so I don't have to fill up all my sub all my sub slots with special duration up or special or, or special duration uh, ability that makes it to where your your uh, special meter fills up a lot faster so i i was like you know what screw it i'll try it it's it's not bad but it's not great in my opinion i think it i need to test it out some more 
but at the, but unfortunately I spent a lot of my time trying to get the sub abilities I wanted from Spike, who's a dirty little guy who wants to just take all your sea snails. But I'm gonna have to give it a myth at this point. It's not bad, but I don't know if I want to keep it uh, at this point. Okay, for this set, I'm using the uh, red jet sculpture or the red custom. I think this one's the dual sculpture, which I apologies if I uh, mess up the name, but I believe this is the red double dual sculpture, I believe, or the dual sculpture, which comes with Whaler and it comes with the beacons. Now I tried out, I actually did try out this weapon on a, a different map rotation. I tried it out on um, Kelp Dome and um, and another map that that I felt like I didn't really get the full like experience or the full like feel for it at the at those maps because I just couldn't find a good place for the beacons on that uh, map. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it again at a later point. So here I decided. Um, Ah, that freaking carbon roller, man. Carbon rollers are still the bane of my existence. But, okay, so the custom jet, or the dual sculpture here, comes with beacons and whaler. The beacons, in my opinion, I need to try out a bit more because I always kind of gear toward the more offensive type of, uh, or uh, offensive uh, sub weapons. So I was thinking, like, you know what, let me try a more supportive weapon, which is meant for more, like, Helping out your teammates get to get to the point faster and get and uh, the whaler that allows you to kind of space out your enemies and and uh, push them back a bit. So I like this weapon. I actually like it a lot. It's not um, you do sacrifice some range because the jet sculpture is more uh, meant for um, the jet the jet sculpture or excuse me but yeah the jet sculpture comes with more range and slightly less. I don't even know why one of our teammates just kind of gave up here unfortunately. Which stunk, but um, I, you sacrifice some range and uh, and you get a slightly faster fire rate with this weapon. So I decided to try it out. Now it kind of stinks that, uh, kind of stinks that you get less range with it, but I think it still has enough range to where it, it it's pretty effective. I feel I feel I do like it a, a lot. And uh, beacons, I'm actually liking the beacons. They're they're a lot of fun, especially for this map, I felt they were a lot more effective than Kelp Dome, because I, that I decided to kind of test it out on Kelp Dome, which wasn't a good idea. I just could not find good spots for the beacons. They kept getting destroyed, so I decided, you know what, this is a much better map for them. And unfortunately, I didn't see a lot of my teammates using them. I don't know if that because I, I wasn't putting them down in good places, or maybe they, they just decided to jump the teammates instead. Um, but I think, and plus Whaler, I wanted to try another weapon with Whaler. And I, and I got a few kills on it on here as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking this weapon a lot. I need to, I think the, um, the setup I have here is I'm currently using two damage up, two damage ups and one ink resistance, um, as mains. And then the, uh, sub abilities that I have, I have four special duration, uh, or no, not special duration up. I have four, um, I forgot what specifically it's called, but it's the sub-ability that reduces, um, how much of your special gauge gets depleted after you get splatted. Because the whaler is one of the, um, one of the specials that gets the most, um, special gauge, like, depleted after you get splatted. It's, it's a heavy one. So I decided, you know what, I, I want to be able to use, because whenever I was using the Whaler with another weapon, I just could not, I was only using it, like, one time per match, which stunk. I was like, you know what, I want to try to use this ability more, but it gets, it, get, it just gets depleted so hard after you get splatted. So I was thinking, you know what, I'm going to put up some sub-abilities that give, that kind of reduces the, how much it gets taken down, which actually is, I find is pretty effective, to be honest. I have four mains, I believe, and then the other, I have, uh, two, um, two, uh, ink saver main abilities, and I actually find that the two damage up uh, main abilities helps a lot, because I'm actually getting, um, pretty good kills when I have, uh, I, again, like I said in, in a previous episode, I don't want to bog down a lot of my slots with just damage up, because I feel like there's more potential 
And plus, again, uh, every every single um, weapon has a damage cap, so pile on, piling on nine damage ups won't do much at all. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try to experiment with different sub abilities, and I really like the uh, um, special gauge um, uh, special gauge reducer. I guess. I forgot. <laughs> Apology. I, for I totally forget what it's called. But yeah, that was a special little episode of me just kind of showing off what I'm doing with my weapon. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.